previously on Minecraft Story Mode. If these builders truly existed, and if you found their temple, that means we're one step closer. That's not what I was expecting. See, this is what I'm talking about. We're stuck in a rut, go through a portal, avoid dying long enough to get back to this stupid hallway. Wash, rinse, repeat? Yes. It would be nice if whoever made these left some sort of signs, guideposts. You can call me Harper. Your bravery is an impressive quality. I look forward to studying that aspect of your personality once you have been made useful. We'll see about that. What is that? This is the Redstone Heart. Beautiful. It can help you find your way home. How can I be sure we can trust this thing? The answers you're seeking, the old builder's atlas, your way home, they're all right up those stairs. Adventure? Wow, that, that's a lot of stairs. And all revealed by the Redstone Heart. Amazing. Yeah, not bad, right? After you. Okay, guys, I'm not sure what's up there, but whatever it is, we all need to stick together. You got it? Yeah, we've got your back, Jesse. Ah, feels like just yesterday we were building this place. Still don't agree with some of the aesthetic choices. Very odd to be back. Wait, you're from here? Uh-huh. What's the big deal? It's a big deal because we've been in the old builder's world this whole time and you didn't tell us. There was never a natural time to bring it up. Kinda thought I'd never need to come back to tell you the truth. Oh, I'm sensing a story here. I guess you could say that. You don't sound super happy about being back. What's up? Yeah, I think you'll figure it out once you meet the others. Others? You mean we're going to meet more old builders? Still don't like it when you call us that. Yep, but I gotta warn you, they're not as friendly as I am. I'm probably the, uh, nicest old builder. Uh-huh. Hey, I'm just glad you're on our side. Old builder or not, you've been pretty cool. Well, thank you, Jesse. I hope I can keep living up to that. Well, you're gonna give us the Atlas and then we can go home, right? Kind of. The Atlas isn't exactly mine to give. It belongs to the other, uh, old builders. And, well, they might not want to give it up. Why do I get the feeling there's a lot you're not telling us? Good instincts? I'm sure we can figure something out, make a deal with them, right? Oh yeah, they love making deals. You'll see when you get there. Jesse, come here. Are you sure we can trust Harper? Look at all of our interactions with her so far. Sort of late in the day to bring this up, don't you think, Lucas? Hey, I'm just trying to be cautious, okay? I want all of us to get home in one piece. And we're going to, okay? We just need to get that atlas. I appreciate the vote of confidence, Jesse. Sorry, I just couldn't resist a good eavesdrop. I promise I'm trying to help, Lucas. You just gotta go through there. A, a door? Like a regular door? Time to step through and find out. Ah! Very what? bright. Oh. A thing. Before you go in there, I have one more piece of advice. Don't die! What? <laughs> Going to get us killed. Let's get out of here. 
here. Hang on. I just realized what this reminds me of. Spleef. Is it tight? No, it's a game. You try to knock the floor out from other people and make them fall. TNT back of the gladiators. Nice one, brah. You are an incredibly horrible individual. You just killed our companion. Whoa. Now and now I you're don't... attempting to compliment Jesse's survival tactics? You killed one of my best friends. Hey, I don't care about your compliments, and I'm definitely not your bra. Whoa. Hang on, dude. I am not in charge here, okay? It's them. Yes, we are the ones in charge here. And we have never had to stop a match. Ever. It definitely is strange, Mevia. What is going on here? I want an explanation. Immediately. This is going to require some reconfiguring of the stats, for sure. Well? Well, I hope those fancy clothes don't stain because I'm gonna make you pay for what you did to my friends. Well, this is interesting. Ugh, lashing out just because your friends were eliminated. Kinda sore loser behavior, don't you think, sport? It is part of the games. Oh, you can't be serious! <laughs> as serious as that beard of yours. Okay, just tell me straight, what are these games that you keep talking about? I think if we all just calm down, I can explain. Your friends aren't dead. Wait, what? How? When people are eliminated in the games, they don't die. <laughs> that would be wasteful. <laughs> Obviously. They come back, and then we have them go work in the mines. Jesse! <laughs> Your friends are alive and well. It's just a game. But I saw them die. How are they alive? Oh, I'm not surprised that you're confused. Tiny brains. It's called respawning, champ. We're not monsters. <clears throat> in our games, when people die, they reappear in one of our respawn zones. I hear it's still pretty painful, though. Well, Sport, now that you've come and interrupted our games, I'm sure our fans would love to know how you got here. Spill! Oh, why bother? They all end up in the mines. We're from another world. Eh? Yeah? You and everyone else here, Pipsqueak. You know what you are? 
champ. You're just a little gate crasher. And what do we do with gate crashers? Kill them and send them to the mines. Back off, muscles. Jesse's with me. Well, if it isn't Harper. I must say, this return is unexpected. You're telling me I'm here for Jesse. Oh, really? So tell me, Jim, why do you think Harper brought you here? My bet's on Pet. That'd be pretty cute, right? Oh, adorable! We came for the Atlas. I want you to hand it over so my friends and I can go home. Straight into the point. Well, I'd like it. If I weren't simmering with barely controlled rage right now! Hmm. We're, of course, not going to do any of those things, but... Admirable try. Well, that's all well and good, but I'm confused. Why would we give anything to someone like you? You weren't invited. And you interrupted Spleef. Because I have something you want. Oh? <laughs> you must be joking, Hadrian. Joking! Oh, jokes! Ha <laughs> ha! Hilarious! Nope, not joking. I doubt you'd have anything that would interest us. Oh, send them to the mines. They're cheaters. Let's make their lives miserable for fun. This is not against the rules. Technically, they are still in the games. They don't deserve to be here, Hadrian. It's interesting. I think they could bring some excitement. Yes, well, I see your point. They haven't been eliminated. Therefore, they could still be... Out! I want them out! <laughs> I'd be delighted to have them in the mines. How about my sword? Wow. A sword. Is it sharp? How about this flint and steel? We have castles filled with chests, which are filled with flints and steels. Oh, how embarrassing. I present the Eversource crown. Wait, why do I recognize that? Oh, that's the crown we put on the Eversource chickens so we'd be able to tell them apart from the regular chickens. Oh, that was a good party, huh? Sadly, not exactly valuable. How about a white pumpkin? Oh, wow. I haven't seen one of those since Cassie left. Oh, don't say that name. She still gives me nightmares. <laughs> Is that who you got that from? I don't know what she told you, but those things aren't exactly valuable. What about this? Huh? <gasps> I present the Redstone Heart. Huh. Seems like only yesterday someone took off of that and vowed never to return with it. Oh, but I didn't bring it back. Jesse did. Thing's no toy, Slugger. How about you just hand it over, huh? It can be, uh, pretty dangerous if you don't know how to use it. Oh, I've got you interested now, don't I? You've certainly got my attention, yeah. Here's the way my offer works. You give me the heart, you and your friends go back down to those portals, I never look at your insignificant face again. Uh, without the Atlas? But we need that to get home! So, not my problem. This is a one-time offer. You've caught me in a forgiving mood. Clearly things have been getting out of hand. Let's start over and see if we can reach an agreement. Okay, okay, fine. I can always appreciate someone trying to be reasonable. Well, you need the Atlas. And I need competitors. After your unexpected intrusion, I seem to be short a team. So how about this? You play in the games. If you win, the Atlas is yours to keep. It's a good deal, Jesse. Trust me. Everyone enjoys these games. 
Can't wait to see what the other games are. I hope they're fun. Well, there you have it. A deal's been struck, huh? To the games! All right, then. I suppose we can carry forward with the official agreement. Oh, Otto, enough. Add it on your own time. Oh, but there's one other thing I want. If they lose, Harper has to go to the mines, too. Oh, gravel. Harper, want to be a friend and show our new competitors to where they'll be staying? Sure thing. Jesse, this was not part of the plan. Wrapped up in one of Hadrian's deals. Ugh! He's not one to let other people get the upper hand, you know. Sort of hoped I had left all his negotiating behind me. Wait, but this was your plan. You said you had it all worked out. Yeah, about that. I didn't think you'd willingly come here. I might have acted in haste. Before, uh, I could work out all the details. Making it up as you go, huh? Bold. Uh, I'm s I'm sorry, okay? I really am. Let me show you where the competitor village is. We used to have competitors from all over travel here to play in the games. At least until the others ruined it. What happened? Hadrian and Mevia let power go to their heads. They started pitting people against each other, just for sport. Forcing people to be here. It isn't right. Come on, I'll show you where you'll be staying. Well, here it is. The competitor village. Sort of a home away from home for all the people playing the games. They're all in the games. Yep. At least the ones who aren't stuck working in the quartz mines. Those poor souls are just waiting for their next shot. Mining is tough work. I feel bad for the people that are too scared or weak to play in the games. They're just stuck here, unable to leave. Wow, that's just horrible. I know. They didn't make a deal like you did, Jesse. They're stuck here till they win the games. And if they lose? Hadrian sends them to toil in the mines. If they're lucky, they'll get another shot at the games. But it might take a while. I'm going to go confer with Otto. We go way back, and, well, he's usually the most reasonable of the three. Hold on a moment. We still haven't found Petra or Lucas. <sighs> I'm thinking that Hadrian must have sent them through the portal to the mines, which is technically against the rules. No one's supposed to go there until their whole team is eliminated. Well, then we're just going to have to get them out. See what you can do here. I'm going to try and find Otto. I've got confidence in you, Jesse. You might just get out of this. We got to get our friends out of the mines quick. I'll see if any of these other competitors have any promising leads. Um, hello? Don't you hello, face meat! Wait a minute, you're the cheater that blew up my friend, Slab! And face meat doesn't look cheaters. Don't stand around breathing up all of face meat air. Face meat prefers dweeb free air. What do you know about the old builders who run this place? Well, one, they hate being called old builders. Two, they're face meat's bosses. Three, they're not big on hugs. Do you know where my friends are? In the mines. Duh. And they're not going anywhere. Not on face meat's watch. That doesn't mean just stand there. Staring at face meat. Get my friends now. Face meat doesn't negotiate with meanies. 
Well, there is something you could do. Facemeat was busy slamming mad raps at the gym and missed lunchtime. You see? So Facemeat's hungry. Do something about that, and Facemeat'll think about getting your friends out. You a big fan of Tim? <laughs> oh, forget I asked. Wow, everyone seems to love this Tim guy. Hey, that's Lucas's journal. You say something, Tiny? Because I'm trying to read here. Hey, where'd you get that book you're reading? Oh, this? Fished it out some respawn's inventory after he... It's got some tales of adventure, feelings, and other dumb stuff. Hey, wait a minute! You're the pipsqueak that knocked me out of my tower. Yeah, and this belonged to that little blonde buddy of yours. Let me guess, you want this back? Because I'm actually enjoying myself. There are some fascinating and thrilling tales in here. Hey, don't get too steam. Maybe we can make a deal? And Slab, the immovable. Oh, we can make a deal. If you do everything I say, when I say it, and don't make me mad again, maybe I'll consider giving you this stupid book back. <laughs> Ivor, everything going okay? Yes. I was just thinking to myself that if this place were a touch less mandatory, it could almost be fun. I admit, I did have some fun in that spleef tournament. I just don't want to be forced into fun and games. Totally agree. The actual game was fun. It just stinks that all this has to be part of it. Though their architecture is magnificent. We need to keep looking for Petra and Lucas. <clears throat> Right. Enough of this talking about feelings nonsense. Uh, hey. You are the one that eliminated the one decent member of my team. I'll barely be able to get through to the next round. I mean, I know I'm good at this, but I'm not that good. Hey, no hard feelings. I didn't know what I'd gotten into. Let's just move past this. No. I will eliminate you next round and make you suffer. It'll be fun for me. Next round. If I don't get you, one of the gladiators will. <sighs> you haven't been here long, so you wouldn't know. Unless I win, which I will, you've got guts. I respect that. Just can't wait to see those guts on the arena floor. I feel kind of bad for you. Most of us got snatched against our wills, but you got tricked into coming willingly. That old builder should have told you these games were impossible. Have you ever won the games? Yeah, I won, but... I decided to give up the prize of going home to stay in this awesome place longer. Of course I haven't won. Yeah, well, good luck with getting home. Solid. Whoa, it's you from Spleef. You were like amazing. I am now, and I am so super sorry about your friend. I get your probs upset, 
especially since you had no idea what was going on. <laughs> yeah, I am pretty upset. Totally get it, bro. I will never do that to one of your friends again because, man, I do not want to be on your bad side. I gotta say, you keep playing like that and you'll be like, Tim status. Tim who? Tim! Like the legend of Tim Tim on the signs. Like one, okay? Like you could. People could like already be talking. They're gonna like say stuff. Compare you to Tim. Good, they should pay attention. Whoa, um, I don't know if Tim was that full of himself. Seems a little hubristic, don't you think? <laughs> Listen, I still feel super bad about taking out your friend. I owe you, so if you ever need anything, you just come and ask, shall? No, I mean, seriously, I mean anything at all. Well, actually, I'm trying to bribe that guard, face me, and he's hungry. Well, um, if I had some wheat, I would totally give you some. Sadly, I don't have a secret stash. And if you didn't ask, I wouldn't loan you some. Wink. Come on, quick before anybody sees us. Go ahead. That should be enough for your bread. All of it? Of course, brah. It'll grow back. Just, uh, leave the seeds, yeah? One. Planting as I go. And that's another. <laughs> Sweet! And that should all grow back soon. Nice! Looks like that should be enough for some epic loafage. Yeah, that means bread. Hopefully bread will be enough to get that face meat guy to help me. Righteous. They don't let us use crafting tables, though. Wait, I saw a few wood planks by the dojo. Right on. Thank you, Nell. Hey, no problem. Happy to help. Catch you later, yeah? There, that should be enough for a table. Aha! That's some fine crafting. Let's make some food. Boom! Bread! Now I should be able to get my friends back. Um, hello? Hey, face me. Got some bread for you. Bread, huh? Hm. It's not cake, but face meat is starving. Mmm, it's so warm. Oh, and full of carbs. Please get my friends. <laughs> face meat appreciates the politeness. Hang on. Jesse. Hello. Hey, Ivor. There's been something I've been wanting to say. It's about how you saved me back there in that game. I... I really appreciate it, Jesse. I... Ugh! I couldn't have done it without you is what I'm trying to say. Really not a fan of admitting that. Of course I saved you, Ivor. We're friends. Well, yes. And I suppose that is very lucky for you. Isn't it? I'm glad you're in this with me, Ivor. Me too, friend. Here! Oh! Oh, response! Jesse! 
Man, is it good to see you. You too, Lucas. Jesse! I really hope you've got our stuff, because I'm not liking being armorless here. So, I guess that's a no on my journal, too. I'm working on that. It's tricky, though. <sighs> Give it to me straight. What did Harper get us into here? Yeah, Harper is a tricky one. Don't worry. We're just in this tournament where if we win, we get the Atlas and our ticket home. Oh, well, that's not so bad. Of course, if we lose, we, um, spend an eternity mining for quartz through that portal. Nope, that is not a thing I want. Hey, Jesse, I need to talk. <laughs> It's pretty bad in there, Jesse. They don't even do anything to keep the pigmen away, so they just... Uh, stare at you while you mine. Yeah, it's kind of the worst. We can't just leave. I really think we can win this. Good. We need to. Apparently this guy Tim did it. That's true. He's all they talk about in the mines. Guess he won the games a long time ago and got all of his team home. They say he was three blocks tall and that he carried his entire team across the finish line. Tim seems fantastic. Well, you're out of those mines now. According to Harper, until our entire team is eliminated, you're allowed to stay here in the village. That's right. Your friends weren't supposed to go to the mines yet. I am sincerely sorry about that. Jesse, this is Otto, my old friend. Like I said, he may be able to help. So you're the one who's supposed to help us? Well, I'll enforce the rules at any rate. If that helps you, then uh, can't be games without rules. <laughs> Harper's been filling me in about you. From the story she's told, I'm impressed. You might actually make it to the top. In fact, you're the most exciting thing to come to this place in a long time. A real wild card. Yeah, I think you might be a real Tim in the making. Yep, a real Tim. Really interesting, you being here. Tim, please. I could do anything he can do better. Well, you might just be right about that, Jesse. I'm rooting for you, kid. Just don't disappoint me. Can we trust him, Harper? Who knows? Otto's been doing this forever. At least he seemed interested. Anyway, dorms are over there. You got a big day tomorrow, Jesse. Ah, oh, that sounds awesome. Can't wait to just sit for a little while. And in the morning, I'm winning and getting us all out of here. I just hope this next event isn't too... deadly. Hello, competitors, and welcome to the next day of the games. <laughs> it's gonna be a hot one. Woo! Yes, it is, Adrian. And how are our teams looking, Otto? Well, Mevia, purple, green, and yellow are still making a strong showing. But after yesterday's performance in Spleef, I'm afraid to say that the red team has been completely eliminated. Oh, I guess it's back to the mines for them. <laughs> and of course about our plucky newcomers. Shut up. Shut up. We don't need to hear about them. Well, for everyone else, don't forget to be like Tim out there. Certainly fond of their own voices, those three. I can't wait to hear what today's event is. Oh my gosh, I'm so sick of these pompous jerks. Yes, I can't say I'm terribly fond of them either. All right, competitors, the next event is almost upon us. Time to head to the starting line. Starting line, huh? Oh, great, a run for my life. Just what I was hoping for. Bad knees, Beardo. Boom! Surprise locker room visit. Ha! How we doing, everybody? It's Hadrian. And here are the newcomers that everyone's been talking about since they're... Explosive debut in Spleef. Tell me, champ, what's on your mind as you approach the next challenge? Make sure you smile when that spotlight's on you. I'm just looking forward to a fair contest where the best person wins. Well, listen to this little pillar of nobility, huh? Don't you worry. That's what these games are all about. Just ask Tim.
I admire your confidence, Jesse, but I must ask, what makes you think you can win when so many others have failed? Huh? Do you really think you're special? Whatever you're throwing at us can't be any worse than the other stuff we've already survived. Oh, really? Because it seems like two members of your team have already been eliminated. Yeah, and there's two left. More than enough to win this. Yes, perhaps we should just get on with this. <laughs> what a lovely day for a game. Jesse, good luck out there. I'm sure you'll be great, but... Thanks, Em. Good luck to you, too. Of course. I saw what you could do in Spleef. Then you made that deal with Hadrian, and I thought, whew, an enemy of my enemy is my friend. M wanting to work together. Hmm, I'm not surprised. We are very charming. So, uh, yeah. How about we work together on this? I could use an ally. And you could use my help. Come on, Jesse. I'm trying to help you out here. How can I trust you? You can trust me. Or you can take a slab to the face. <laughs> you got a point. In the middle of the race is a part with tons of gladiators. That's when we should all team up. Defeat them, then race to the finish. Well, what do you say? Unless you don't want the help of a former gladiator. You got a deal. Good. I won't let you down. Competitors, to the starting line. Meet you at Gladiator Junction. I'm glad she'll be on our side. At whatever a Gladiator Junction is. I don't know about this, Jesse. Cardio isn't really my thing. If I were Hadrian, I'd be up to some suspicious activity. I'm nervous too, Ivor. These old builders could be up to anything. It's rather reassuring to know that even you get worried sometimes. Psst, Jesse? I just, like, wanted to say it's, like, an honor to be working together and i'm glad that m like totally suggested that we can do this uh yeah i knew that you were cool from the moment we met competitors on your mark get set go Sounds like this is Gladiator Junction, but where are the gladiators?
Jesse! Observe! Jesse, so, you ready for the fun part? I sure hope so. Come on, then. Glad she's on our side, Jesse. You're mine. I've been dreaming about this since Fleet. Oh, yeah, Slab? Because you seem pretty outnumbered. Just means more fun for me. We'll see about that, right, Em? Em? <laughs> Boom. Bye, Squishy. Oh, shit, I swiftness! Oh, no crud! Gotcha! Ah, no! Looks like you're all alone yeah, now. That's math. Tired of you, Slab? I was just thinking the same thing about you! Sorry, Nell. I'm winning this thing. Hey! Whoa! Whoa, Jesse! Way to catch up, dude. Very nice. You just can't take a hit, can you? Get huh? dunked on! Whoa! Whoa! Slacker! Hang on. Whoa! Working together? Looking a little swordless there, Jesse. So flint and steel! Boy, am I glad I've still got you. have a winner and I think I know who it will be <laughs> I'm surprised that Jesse has not respawned yet <laughs> me too Mevia me too what and in an unexpected twist and something that definitely was not planned Jesse wins Jesse wins Jesse and there appears to be a confrontation on the field I bet you didn't think I'd win, but I did. This just went from bad to worse. You did whatever it took to win that race, Jesse. Good to know. And you. You were supposed to eliminate Jesse. Our deal's off. Deal? No, no, please. probably think I'm scum or whatever, but you know what? I don't even care. You have your deal, Jesse. If you win, you and your friends will just leave us anyway. My shot at going home just went up in smoke. So feel free to judge all you want. Hard to hurt me any more than Hadrian did just now. No, I get it, Em. I might have even done the same thing in your position. Well, I'm glad that you get it wasn't personal, at any rate. I... I gotta go. That respawning was the worst thing that's ever happened to me. Ah! Ivor, what are you wearing? <gasps> it's what I've been wearing under my adventuring clothes. It breathes wonderfully. Uh-huh. Well, look who it is. You. 
Hadrian wants you. Hadrian? Why does he want to see me? You made him real mad. Come on, I don't have all day. I'm warning you, Jesse. Okay, if they want to see me, let's go. Uh, really? Well, that was unexpected. No, just Jesse. <laughs> Hadrian doesn't allow dirty respawns in the palace. Just try and be safe, Jesse. I don't trust them. Hmm. Hey, psst. I need to talk to you. Keep up. Come on. Come here. It'll be quick. Jesse, you gonna do what I say or not? Hey, Jesse. I'm coming. Good. I appreciate you being considerate. My job's on the line here too, you know. I hope Hadrian's in a good mood. I hate being sent out on dumb errands. Hadrian seems like a tough boss. You mean, doing whatever he says, whenever he says it all the time? It gets old, but at least I get to take out my frustrations on the little people. Wow, so this is how the old builders live. Totally epic, right? Sometimes I just like to stand here and... This is incredible. Such amazing use of scale and angles. Right? Knew you'd be impressed. I get to hang out here whenever I want. And thanks to you actually helping us keep on schedule, we have some extra time to enjoy the place. I'll go get Hadrian. Oh, and don't touch anything! Slab said don't touch anything. He never said don't look at everything. Hey, that's that Tim guy's armor. Welcome, Jesse. Fantastic to have you here. Just fantastic. Thanks for accepting my invitation. Well, it seems appropriate that you'd gravitate toward Tim's armor. What with everyone calling you the new Tim down there. Yes, I've heard the rumors that they're calling you that, and I can definitely see why. People love an underdog story. The decor of this place really seems like you're going for a modern villain aesthetic. Does it? I suppose taste can be intimidating to the classless. You can look closer, go ahead. I assume by now you've heard all about Tim. Repeatedly. Everyone loves him. And why shouldn't they? After all, he's Tim. Doesn't that bug you? Aren't these supposed to be your games? And they are still my games! love having a legend that can inspire my competitors. Tim is an inspiration to them, even when he's not here. One could say he's an inspiration because he's not here. What do you mean? It's so much easier for a legend to stay nice and shiny when it's a fond memory. Easier to control it. I've been watching your legend grow, but I worry that with you still in the picture, it could get... messy. I've been starting to think it would be best if you made a quiet exit. You don't belong here. These games aren't for you. Well, that doesn't sound like the deal we made. You trying to change our terms? Think of this as a shiny, new deal. See, there's something you should know about the games. No one ever wins unless we want them to. Not even Tim. Let that sink in for a moment, eh? I don't care whether Tim won or not. I'm better than him. Do you seriously think Tim is real? Is that what you're telling me? Tim gives them hope. He keeps them playing the games, but no one wins. Ever. Which is why I think it'd be in your best interest to play along. But don't you miss your friends? Your treehouse? Wait, my treehouse? 
The Atlas can see where people are from, you know. So I had Mevia go check it out. Turns out you're pretty famous. I was impressed. Had to bring back some things you might be interested in. <laughs> uh, Axel! Olivia! Hey, Jesse! Oh my gosh, I can't believe you're here. Yeah, this really scary lady showed up and knocked us out. Now we're in these smelly boxes. What's going on here? And that guy's voice is the worst. I can even hear it through the obsidian. We've been trying to find you guys this whole time. It's been nuts. You mean Petra and Lucas are still with you? That's such a relief. Yeah, Ivor too. Oh, yay. Wait until I tell the others you're here. I've missed you guys so much. Wow, this is just, wow. Such a tapestry of human trauma and emotion. And we haven't even gotten to the best part. I saved that for last. What? Oh, yes. Your best friend. Reuben. Sup? I've heard all about him. Your best friend! Your partner in crime! Hadrian, for an old builder, you are not that bright, you know that? What? I told you, bro. Look, my name is Reuben, but the Reuben you're thinking of, he was like a little piggy. Though seriously, dude, big fan. <laughs> so you used the Atlas to kidnap my friends and that other guy. Why? Yeah, incentive, Jesse, incentive. See, even if you win, and that's a mighty big if, they will be staying to work in the mines forever. Or until they get a shot at competing, which is still basically forever. No! Okay, so what's your deal? If you lose the next match and go work in my mines, then I'll let your friends go. All of them. You'll just have to stay behind in their place. I hear it's terrible in those mines. But aren't your friends worth it? You're messing with the wrong guy. And his friends. Yeah, they're awesome. Just being supportive? I'm not messing with anyone. I'm just trying to maintain my games here. Okay, I had hoped that watching your sad reunion would be entertaining, but I'm done now. What do you say, sport? Your freedom for theirs, huh? Do you think you're worth more than all of them? Do you even really think you could win these games? Wow, tough one. That's actually kind of a good deal. Uh, yeah, except the part where Jesse would be stuck here forever. Oh yeah, no, I take that back. It's a terrible deal. Ah, uh, and we really will be stuck with this guy. Fine, we'll play it your way. Which is to say, I will crush you, and you won't win anyway. Slap! Get this garbage out of my office. Sure thing, boss. Come on, idiot. Jesse, you're okay. What happened up there? Have you seen what Ivor is wearing? I said, <laughs> shut up! Hadrian has Axel and Olivia. What? what? He used the Atlas to snatch them from our world. No. Are they okay? Other than Hadrian having them trapped in obsidian prisons. But he offered me a deal. He said he'll send you all home if I lose and go to the mines in your place. <gasps> I didn't take the deal. Oh, I guess that was probably the right move. Probably? <laughs> what, you thought that deal sounded good? I don't know. It's a complex situation. Uh, in case you missed it, if I took that deal, I'd be in the mines forever. Except now, win or lose, you'll have friends doomed to the same fate. <sighs> Jesse was smart. Hadrian never would have kept that deal. Even if you did volunteer to throw the game, he'd just send you all to the mines anyway. Probably, while claiming that was the original deal. So who's supposed to help us then? Hadrian and Mevia are both clearly the worst. But what about the third guy? Otto? How could he help? He's always stayed out of the more lever-pulling sides of the games. 
Well, he seems nice. He's the least interested in torturing people, at any rate. Huh. A good observation. He always was the most level-headed of those three. If you won, I know he would definitely make sure you got that atlas. That was the original deal. And he's an honorable man. Harper, what about all the people that are trapped here against their will? I can win the Atlas, but I'm going to need you to get them out. You can count on me, Jesse. I'll make sure everyone is out of the mines before the next game is over. Wait, wait, wait. You really think you can free everyone in this place and win the games? Yeah. Good luck with that last part. Do you really think you can just beat all the other teams by yourself? That is a pretty tall order. Even for you, Jesse. This won't be the first impossible situation I've talked my way out of. I can make a pretty good speech when I want to. Huh. Hope you're right. Whoa. Looks like we've got a little bit of an audience here. I think that's your cue to do your thing. Tomorrow, if we work together, we can all win together. But Jesse, you're not on my team. See, my jumpsuit is yellow. That's just what the old builders want you to think. Hadrian keeps twisting and changing the rules. I say it's our time to change the rules on them. What's the point? Hadrian will still have all the power. There's no way he's gonna let us just take that from him. He'll just make up some new rule. Hadrian's not fully in control. Winning is possible, Em. Don't you want to win? I do. More than anything. But nobody beats Hadrian at his own games. Nobody. Hey! Tim did! That's the only thing keeping me going in here. Actually, Tim's not real. <gasps> <gasps> no way. Of course Tim's real. Look at the banners. Are you sure? Yeah, Hadrian told me. <gasps> I knew it. All of that stuff about him seems so implausible. So wait, Tim's made up. They just invented him. What a highly elaborate fabrication. Forget Tim. Real or not, the important thing is what we are all capable of doing tomorrow. And what we're gonna do is beat the old builders at their game. The old builders already controlled everything else. Of course they control the games. Why should I even try anymore? Sitting in their stupid tower, pulling all the levers. I thought you were one of the toughest people in here, Em. What's the matter, are you scared? Gasp, is that what it is? <laughs> are you scared? What, no. I, I just don't want to keep getting hit by stupid gladiators with enchanted swords if I can't win anyway. Yeah, I mean, like, your plan to take down the old builders sounds cool and all, but, um, those gladiators are, like, super tough. <laughs> like, max-level scariness, okay? Boo! Those gladiators are a bunch of tough cookies. Definitely true. No way any of you stand a chance against them. Uh, where's Jesse going with this? But that's just because you've never had a leader to help you make a plan. You've never... Oh, I get it now. Okay, now just bring it home, Jesse. You can do it! Doing awesome. You might not believe in yourselves, but I believe in you. And I believe that we will be free! Yeah! Not real? I, I can't believe out. it! Look, it was a nice speech. But strength doesn't come from speeches. Actions speak louder than words. Can't expect you to just talk your way through this, Jesse. My strength comes from my friends. We're always there for each other. It's true. Jesse never even gave up on me. And I used to be a bad guy. Maybe. Man, some crowd. Think they got through to him? Wait, so who are we fighting then? <sighs> Reaction definitely seemed mixed. Yeah, no kidding. A lot of diehard Tim fans. It had to, or else we're in big trouble. Yeah, that last game is all or nothing. Well, I guess we'll find out for sure in the morning. <sighs> Ladies and 
gentlemen, it is my privilege, nay, my honor, to be here today kicking off another wonderful day of the game. That's right, Adrian. And not just any day, but the final day of the game. Are our competitors ready for the final challenge? The it's walls. The walls. So, scared? Because it's okay if you are. No one will judge you for it. You can tell me if you were scared. Yeah, I should have guessed you're one of those people who listens to the rules. Don't worry, huh? They're just about to get to the important part. Bevia, for those unfamiliar with the walls, you want to walk us through how it's played? Sure thing, Hadrian. Teams start out separated in their own sections, divided by the high inner walls. Each team has a short amount of time to gather materials, build defenses, and craft in their section before the walls come down. Yeah. Wait, I only see dirt and gravel in my section. Oh, I'm sorry. Is that going to be a problem? The sections are drawn at random. Oh, you work for the worst people. Did you know that? Yeah, but that dental plan, though. See? Once the walls are down, it's every team for themselves. But is surviving the walls the end, Mevia? No, it is not, Hadrian. Whichever team survives the free-for-all needs to step onto the winner's platform in the center of the arena. Winner takes all! But let's not get ahead of ourselves, because that's only if the would-be winners can defeat... Oh. Gladiators! <laughs> that's right! So all competitors better get to gathering materials because that clock is ticking! Dog. Well, hopefully it's not all dirt and gravel. Ah, oh, choices are funny, aren't they, Mevian? What do you mean, Hadrian? Some choices take you places. Others get you nothing but dirt and gravel in your section. Ah. Ha! Oh, it's true, it's true! At least they gave me a crafting table. Now, if only I actually had anything to craft with. Oh, do you know what time it is? Ask me what time it is, Mavia. What time is it, Hadrian? It's time for the walls to come down! Uh -oh. This should be interesting. There. The competitors are like wild ocelots, sizing each other up, unmoving, before they go in for the kill. Like the gladiator formerly known as Emily is preparing her attack. And Jesse, the newcomer, is just painfully unarmed and unprotected. Jesse. This could get ugly. Let's hope. Jesse isn't even trying to defend himself. Try giving that friends thing a shot. It appears Emily has opted to not strike M, down the other. All right in my book. And well, the feeling's the mutual, but don't let it go to your head, suit. or I'll knock it off its shoulders. Noted. What is Em doing? Why is she doing that? I have no idea. Come on, over here. Yeah. Why aren't you all killing each other? 
Yeah, see, usually all the little teams kill each other. Yeah, and, and then we kill whoever's left. Yeah, this way is, is much weirder. Less killing. Uh, what, what is this? This staring, this silence? It almost feels like Jesse is acting as a mirror. A vessel in which to see the emptiness of our own actions and the meaninglessness of being a pawn for others. Just me? Don't you see? None of us are the enemy. It's them! They're the enemies. They're behind everything. Oh, my head hurts. Too many perspectives. And it appears that the gladiators are being idiots right now. Idiots! When what they should be doing is eliminating Jesse! What? Slab? Slab! What should we do? Uh, uh, uh. I'm sure that the slaughter will commence soon, right? With Slab leading the charge, it should be no problem at all. Uh, that stare is, uh, highly unsettling. Not going with them, Slab? In my life, I've done some things I'm not proud of. But I won't work for bosses who use people or manipulate them. That's inconsiderate. But you, when I was mean to you, pushed you around and made you go to the tower with me, you got that I was just doing my job and came anyway so we could be on time. That was real considerate. And you're one of those few words leaders. I can respect that and would be honored to fight by your side. I think it's time for us to finish this together. It appears all the competitors are headed towards the victory platform. As stated in our rules, anyone who is not eliminated may step on the victory platform and win the games. It looks like they are going to do this together. Right behind you, fearless leader. Hey, two slap. You'll pay, pay for that. For that. that won't happen. It can't happen. No, no! And they've done it! The competitors have all stepped onto the platform together, which, by the Builder Game Bylaws, means they are all the winners! Which I'm sure my colleague means to say, we are going to find some way to disqualify them? No, we are not! They all win! No! no! Mevia, Otto, with me! We're ending this! So help me, none of you will this place until you eliminate each other! Not happening. Oh, don't even get me started with you, Emily! You dare to, to soil my our games like this and then stand here staring silent! This isn't up to you. We control the games. We decide their outcome. Mevia. Shut up, Otto! This runt needs to pay for ruining our fun! Seems like you're losing your temper there, Mevia. What's the matter? Not having fun anymore? Why, you little... Now, Mevia, Jesse won these games fair and square. He's earned the Atlas. Otto, I would think very carefully about what you're doing. I have. Jesse, with the power vested in me as an officiator of the Builder Games, I am proud to pay... Otto! Uh -oh. Now it's been fun, really, but I think it's about time we end this. Surrender the Redstone Heart. Now, now. Because, uh, I will trap you here forever. If you want it, come and get it. Your wish is my command, buckaroo. Ah! <laughs> is he useless? Well, well. Just when you thought M had... M, come back! Now that you've lost your oversized friend, you really don't stand a chance. Run away, little Emily. I'm still with you, Jesse. Thank you. You're gonna need all the help you can get, Jesse. Time to take what is mine. I'll admit your quick sport. 
but not quick enough for my axe. Oh, what the? Don't forget my axe, Hadrian. No. <laughs> No! Slab! It was an honor to fight the sun. Slab! Gotta admit, kid, you've shown you got skills. But you're still no we'll match. see about that! I got this, Hadrian! Ah! Had enough, Hadrian? Wait, wait! You're right! This has gone too far! It was just supposed to be a game! You expect me to believe that? Come on, sport. Haven't you ever had anything get away from you before? I mean, can't you forgive me? <laughs> <sighs> this game is... No! Oh, no! And that's our game, sports fans! The Redstone Heart has been returned to its proper owners. I... I lost. Hey, fancy meeting you here. You know, I've sent hundreds of competitors to these respawn pits. Never knew it hurt so much. Sorry, that's probably not helping your mood right now. It's over, I... Oh, I don't think so. It's us, yeah! I'm so happy to see you guys. I know you said you were done helping me, but I hope you can give me another chance. You know, cause I'm awesome. And we both need to get out of this. Oh, I knew you'd be back. Thanks for not doubting me. But I lost my inventory when I respawned. How am I supposed to get the Atlas back without any weapons or armor or anything? Well, we may have made a little stop in Hadrian's inventory room and helped ourselves to a few things. Awesome. Here, buddy. Wow. Take this. Thanks. Hey, suspenders. Over here. Tim's armor belongs to you now. Time to kick some old builder butt. Now to pick a weapon to go with my sweet new armor. Ooh, nice ah, choice. Not sweet. Payback ah, time. Hang on it. Now what should we do with all those other competitors who betrayed us? Well, Mevia, spending eternity in the quartz mines doesn't seem like punishment enough. <laughs> I have something special in mind for them. Hadrian! Mevia! This game just went into overtime! Well, isn't that cute? You found Tim's armor! Time for you to be eliminated! <laughs> Please. Not gonna happen, chump. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy crushing you! For now, Bucko. Hey, Hadrian! Huh? Over here! You mess with one member of the Order of the Stone. You mess with all Go, of Jesse! us. Go, Jesse! I believe Time in you! Time to shut you up! You think this is going to help? You're deluded! Let's take him to the slab lab. By far, I'm not 
I I'm, I'm still workshopping that one. Shut up. Let's go. I will personally see to it that you and your friends will forever suffer. Shut up. Just shut up. Alia, shut up. I see you don't like having a live audience, Adrian. Jesse, remember Splee. Got it. We have to get out of here. Come on! Whoa! Whoa! Hey! Hey! Guys! How's it going? <laughs> it's going not the best. And you're not going anywhere. Yeah. Face Meat wants to discuss his benefits plan. Oh, hang on. Hang on! Jesse, you did it! Again! Feels like I say that a lot. I couldn't have done anything without all of you. Well done, Jesse. An excellent job. Uh, thanks, Otto. You have truly shown my friends and I the error of our ways. I'm glad to put this whole messy business behind us. Start over. Man, do you need some new friends, you know that? Yes, I have come to that same conclusion, and I am working on it. I also know that the Atlas is not mine to keep. No! You have fairly defeated them. Seems only fair that you get to decide their fate. And with the Atlas, you can send them anywhere you want. Hmm. You know, there was this game that Olivia and I used to play back in our treehouse. Huh? Remember? We called it, Which Would You Rather Fight? And that's when I yanked Pama's redstone heart right out. And the whole thing shut down! Man, you guys have had some crazy adventures. So many people trying to kill you. Goodbye, Jesse. Goodbye. Thank you. That all of them? Everyone that wants to go home anyhow. Except you folks, that is. I can't believe how many competitors actually want to stay and keep playing the games. Thanks to you, my intrepid new friend, I can actually work on making them fun again. Very exciting. It'll be more challenging just by myself, but a good challenge. That's what I do. Exploring new worlds, helping people wherever I go. I was happy to help. Well, I'm very grateful. What you did won't be forgotten anytime soon. And I'm gonna help too. You taught me a lot about fairness, Jesse. And I'd like to use that new knowledge for something good. Oh, and speaking of fairness, I think this is yours. Oh, man. There was some good stuff in there. I was really moved. Awesome. Huh. I guess he wasn't so immovable after all. Well, Em, how about you? You said you wanted to go home, right? Yes, I just can't decide if it's what I want. You get to leave and go on more adventures. Do I really want to go back to farming? I mean, it has been ages since I've seen it, and I miss my friends. Sounds like Otto's gonna be, you know, like restarting the games. You could stick around and help with that. Jesse, that's an awesome idea! We can actually make them fun! M maybe I can be head gladiator. Yeah. Thanks, Jesse. I needed that. Hey, Ivor. Oh, hello. What you doing? I was just observing Harper. All by herself, over there. She seems lonely. 
Come on. Hey, Harper. Oh, hey, Jesse, Ivor. I was just watching folks head on home. Things really worked out, huh? Well, I guess this is goodbye. I'm gonna head on back to Crown Mesa and see how the Post Palma construction is going. Just hope they'll take me back. It's not my real home, but it's the closest thing I've had for, well, a long time. We'll just go with that. Don't worry, I'm sure they'll come around. I sure hope you're right. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Getting over the I was a bad guy hump can be awkward, but hopefully soon they'll invite you right back into their lives. Right, Jesse? You are a strange, strange man, Ivor. But you know something? You're okay. Take care of each other, all right? And I'll see you around. Bye, Harper. Yes, goodbye. Come on. You're amazing. So, how do we get home now? Well, the Atlas belongs to Jesse now. The deal's a deal and all that. Sweet. Uh, how does it work? Now you just say where you want to go, and the Atlas will show you the way. Why don't you just go ahead and open it? Okay, Book. Take us home. Whoa! Spectacular! Incredible! Nice. There it is. Home. Figure it's about time we get heading on home, huh? That sounds awesome. Yeah! Home, here we come. Jesse, look! Can you believe it? We made it! We're home! After all that time, all those portals, we're home! Yeah, and I couldn't have done it without you guys. You're the best team anyone could ever ask for. Aw, that's lovely. Ah, oh, you big sap. I'm just so glad we're all back together. That atlas is so cool. I'm glad Otto let you keep it. Fabulous, yes! And that's not all we got. Seriously? What else did you get? Yeah, show him, Jesse. The Enchanted Flint and Steel. The one that started the whole thing. Yeah, none of these other adventures could have happened if it weren't for this. The Portal Atlas. I could have lost all the rest so long as we got to keep that. Ah, I wonder what Soren would have thought of it. So much power contained within such a tiny Whoa. object. Easy there, Ivor. Mm. Sorry. The mask of Cassie Rose, a.k.a. the White Pumpkin. Oh, man. That's even creepier looking than I imagined. Palma's Redstone Heart. I know that Palma was evil and everything, but I still kind of wish I could have seen it. The crown of the Eversource, the magical source of all of Sky City's precious materials. Whoa, wicked! I can't believe you got to do all those incredible things! Makes sense, though. You were gone a long time. Wait till we show you all the improvements we've been making to town. Um, Jesse? What's up, Lucas? So, I've been writing stuff in here, you know? And, well, it's kind of become like a legitimate book. But there's just one problem. I still need to put what happened to you. You've, well, you've been the hero of this whole story. Just say, and he couldn't have done it without his friends. You know something? 
I really like that. There, done. Well, tell the next one anyway. I was thinking that maybe we could put it in here with the other treasures. I know it's not as cool as, like, a portal atlas. That's a great idea, Lucas. It's perfect. Hang on. What is it? Wasn't that where the portal atlas was a minute ago? Yeah, that was definitely where you put it. Guys, Flint and Steel are missing too. And where's Ivor? <laughs> he must be headed for the portal network. Is that bad? What should we do? I mean, I guess he mostly knows what he's doing. Eh, he'll be back eventually. After everything we've been through, I think I finally trust him. Yeah? Yeah. Come on, guys. Let's go home.
very unfortunate and unexpected twist. It appears we are in the land of chickens that are indeed the size of zombies. That's right, Adrian. And it looks like we're just gonna have to wing it. Wings. Chicken wings, you know. You're fired, Mavia. You're fired. 